pretty advanced stage of the disease. The limb is girdled, essentially the, the limb is dying. And if you look farther up the limb, then all, all those leaves are dead. So this is ultimately what happens. the Japanese chestnut species, which was brought over to the United States as a horticultural specimen and planted in New York City, which is where the blight on American chestnuts was originally discovered. And within just a matter of years, the American chestnut was decimated on this continent. Light resistance and susceptibility has turned out to be a genetically much more complex phenomenon than previously thought. Therefore, um, bringing in the blight resistance from Chinese chestnut as well as retaining the growth form of the American chestnut has proven to be much, much more difficult than originally hypothesized. With the transgenic project, there are a lot of very promising early results. Both with climate change and with just overall global environmental change, we do expect continuing pressures, not just on the chestnut, but on forests, trees, and species. Overall, there will be more pests, there will be more diseases, and so that's something that we're trying to prepare with by breeding as much genetic diversity as possible into our American Chestnut Restoration Project.